Okay, so let's begin our look at Stairway to Heaven with uh, learning this classic acoustic intro that everybody knows and um, everybody would love to be able to play. So let's get down to it. We're going to start, this is going to be finger picking, um, and I'm going to show you kind of the chords that we're going to be doing down here and just and telling you what strings that I'm going to be finger picking. So, um, so even if you have trouble seeing the exact string that I'm hitting, um, I'm going to be saying which one it is, all right, and uh, what I'm hitting, uh, what string with. First of all, I'm kind of set up in this initial descending part with my thumb always picking any note that happens on the fourth string. My first finger picks any note on the third, second finger or middle finger on uh, anything on the second string, and the ring finger is everything on the first string. So I've got those, the thumb and those three fingers all getting these strings one through four. All right, so let's go down here to the left hand, and we're gonna be holding an A minor chord here that's got a bar across, across three, uh, the fifth fret at the um, first, second, and third strings. Um, you can go ahead and make that bar go across four strings, because we will be using that fifth string, uh, fifth fret and the fourth string a little later. So we, So after you get that bar, then place your third finger at the seventh fret on the fourth string. All right, so we've got that chord shape and we're gonna pick straight across here. We're gonna pick with our thumb, the fourth string, then the third, second, and first. So I'm using all four of those fingers, just going four, three, two, one, across. those are the string numbers. Okay, then we take our second finger and instead of the seven at the fourth fret, uh, on the fourth string, we're going to have this six on the fourth string, and then you can add your pinky at, at the seventh fret on the sixth. I mean, I'm oh, sorry, the first string. So basically, take your third finger if you want and move it down to the seventh fret on the first string, and this second finger is going to be at the sixth fret on the fourth string, and the bar at the fifth fret stays the same. Now we have a little bit different picking. And what that is, is now we're hitting the fourth string and the first string at the same time. So we're going to be using our ring finger and our thumb together for the first hit. Then we're going to pick the second string, then the third, then back to the first. Now remember that pattern because that's really the main pattern that we're going to be using. Because this next chord, you take your pinky and put it down at the eighth fret on the first string and lift up your second finger. So now all you do is have that bar and you have your pinky at the 8th fret on the 1st string and then do that same pattern that we just did with the two outside notes at the same time. Okay, so it's the same pattern. Then take it down to this is going to be a D major chord here with F sharp in the bass. We're going to hold the D major with a bar the 2nd fret. Um, across the first, second, and third strings, and then your second finger at the third fret on the second string, and then your third finger at the fourth fret on the fourth string. We do that same picking pattern we just did. All right, so so far we got this. Straight across, just four notes. Then. Then we go to this F major 7th chord. It's just 1st string open, 1st fret on the 2nd string, 2nd fret on the 3rd, and 3rd fret on the 4th string. And this picking pattern, a little bit different. We start with the two outside notes, then the 2nd string, then 3rd, then back to the 2nd, and a little pause on that note. And then we just go one, two, three. Those are the string numbers, what I'm calling out there. Then come down to this second fret on the fifth string. You're going to use your thumb now to pick that, sixth, that fifth string. And the first and second fingers are going to pick the second and third strings open. So there's three strings there. And then come to an A minor chord. 
and just pick the four middle strings with each one of those four fingers on so the thumb and then the first, second, third string. All together and you hit it twice. So we got then open A, open fifth string, slide seven to eight, and then come back down to seven. And now that's our little thing to start this pattern over, except it starts just a little bit different the second time. We have so we're now, I'm holding that same A minor chord, but I start the picking and set on the fourth string on the fifth string and go four, I mean five, four, three, two. And then starting from the second chord there, same shape, we do the same picking pattern that we did with it before, which is that outside note. And then keep going, same stuff. Same thing. Okay, so just for that, so that very beginning, when it came back around, um, um, everything stayed the same. All right, now we have this little figure. Okay, so now when he does this part in the song, he'll kind of, um, as he goes through it a couple of times, he might make slight variations, but there's only two patterns that he's doing when he does any variation. So let's go through the part real quick. We got open fifth, then on the fifth string, the second fret, and when you get to this um, C major chord, hold a standard C major chord, and go five, four, three, one. Then come to the D major chord and play that same picking pattern we're already familiar with that we did in this descending pattern. The two outside notes, then two, three, one. Then the same picking pattern on that F major seventh chord that we did before. Then we come to an A minor chord, but. And what we do is we really pick the first, the um, fifth string and the second string together and hammer on that first fret on the second string and then follow it with the second fret on the third string. It's about all we get of A minor. We get to start that little again, that little figure. So then we build back up, zero, two, and when we get to the C major chord, this time we're gonna pick it with that picking pattern that we did before that we're familiar with already but it's gonna be on the four middle strings here. And then we're gonna to come to this G major chord. It's not gonna be the G major play like this. You're gonna to have to have that second string open. So the second fret here on the fifth, third fret here on the sixth, and then the pinky at the third fret on the first string. Now we do that same pattern except the thumb has to be on the sixth string and these three fingers are on the first three strings. So we have So it's that same pattern that we've done before, it's just a little bit different strings. And then come to this D major chord. Leave your pinky there though. Come and hold a D major chord. Pick all four strings together with thumb, first, second, and third finger. And when you pick that, pull off the pinky to, so it'll be pulled off to that second fret. And hit the chord a couple more times. Then we're gonna start this pattern again. Now the only two patterns, I mentioned there's only two patterns he really does. One is picking straight across four strings. And the other one is the one that we're already familiar with. So when listening to this verse, as he goes back around throughout the song, he keeps coming back to this part over and over again. Um, you will hear slight, I mean he always plays the same chords in the same order but the little right hand pattern every once in a while will just kind of change, but he just switches back between those two, okay? So it should be really easy to pick up when you're going through a recording. So, um, or if you're doing one of those, it's all gonna, everything's gonna sound fine. So let's finish, so we're coming back around. Same first two chords, so, and 
the same F sharp major, I mean F major 7. And the same A minor hammered on. And this first time he ends this straight across, then straight across, just one, two, three, four, I mean just five, four, three, two, then four, three, two, one, then hold that F major seventh chord and hit it three times. Let me play all that section again so you can and try to pick up which right hand pattern is going on at what time. That order of chords, see the whole thing is really uh, a little bit, that is one time through that part, what I just played right there. So when you get all those same chords down, they're very similar, it seems like you're doing one part twice, but it's really just a little bit different at the end, instead of ending on the D. And there's a G, that little change to the G in there the first time through. So if you could follow that, and then whenever he plays that part of the song, you can play exactly what I just played right there, what he plays the first time, or you can just mix up those patterns. Remember, you can pick straight across or go. Either one, and that's what he's doing. He's kind of just mixing it up as he goes along.